Okay guys, I thought I'd film another video playing with my new jelly plate, but first I'm going to show you how I was doing mono printing, just using craft foam. This is a few layers I just glued together, um, so I would have something that was more squishy than just a single layer. It was a little easier to work with. Um, first, I like to put a layer of, of course it's stuck, it's clogged. I like to pour some glaze on there, just a thin coat with the brayer. Um, the um, craft foam absorbs a little bit of paint if you don't do that. And sometimes it doesn't all come off on the paper like you want it to. I don't know, I just found it works a little better. So. I usually start, I usually do a lot of printing on uh, newspaper or phone book pages. What I do first is I scratch or scrape with a old door uh, room key card or a gift card with some gesso and some paint and I let that dry just to have something besides the text in the background but I like the texture the text gives. So anyway, I have a bunch of these that are dry. And then here's some paint here mixed up in these, um, and it has some retarder in it. And I take my leftover tubes of paint that you can't squeeze any more out of if you tried. I cut them open with a pair of scissors and I scrape what's left into these, and then mix it with some retarder, and I use that for printing. Anyway, that one's got to be cut open. So you just need a little bit of paint, a little goes a long way. It's, you do the same thing as you do with the jelly plate. At least I think, I haven't tried mine yet, it's still in the box. We'll do that next. Okay, so we're all ready to go with some nice yellow that all look good on there. I'm going to grab some things make impressions, patterns, just like you would with a jelly plate. One thing I noticed with this craft foam as you and when you're working with stencils like this you really got to get your fingers in there try to get that paint really on the paper you don't get as good of an impression but you do get one and then when you take these off you can get another impression Like to waste any paint, so you can also do this. So anyway, after I'm done doing that, I'll do a few of these. Sometimes I will doodle on top of that, and then basically what I do is I just make my own collage paper. And these are what I use to do the collage backgrounds and a lot of things like the crazy birds. So anyway, give that a try. If you don't have a jelly plate, craft foam is really cheap. You can get sheets of it at the dollar store and just make your own jelly plate and work with that. So next I'm going to try the real jelly plate. We'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. Okay, before we play with the jelly plate, I'll show you what I do with the paint. Um, I have some acrylic retarder. A lot of, there's a lot of different brands. This happens to be Dick Blick. This is a tube of paint. I can't get anything else out of it. I mean, I just can't. I tried. So I'll just cut it in half. And I'm going to use... There's a lot of paint in there. You just can't get it out. So I'm going to just scrape it out with a craft stick. Get 
get as much of it out as you can. There was a lot of paint left in there, see? Okay, so then I just put a big blob of retarder in there. It doesn't want to go back on that right now. Now we have pink ready for using on the jelly plate. So I'm going to do the same thing with the green. Looks like I need some white and some brown, maybe. Um, and I'll be back. Okay, I am noticing that the jelly plate, the paint, doesn't absorb into the jelly plate at all. A lot more of it comes off on the paper than it does when you use craft foam. So I don't know if putting more glaze or retarder on the craft foam before you start would help or not. But it, it's a pretty good substitute, but the jelly plate will definitely make a nice pretty print. Um, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this making prints. Um, plus, after you've printed it the first time, I have a piece of paper here. I can wipe my stencils off on that and not waste any of the paint. And I still have paint on the jelly plate, and I can grab a different sheet and get a second print. I have a clean brayer. And still a lot of paint comes off. Plus, my little scrap piece of paper over here is getting a few layers on it, it's starting to look good too. It's a great way to make your own collage papers and not have to go buy papers. When I'm doing collage, most of the papers in the background are something I've made. Um, I'm also going to start selling them because I have a lot of them, like everything in my studio. I'm running out of space. Anyway, um, if you can't afford a jelly plate, try the craft foam. You can also sketch designs into the craft foam. This happens to be a self-portrait. Um, but you can scratch a design into the craft foam with a craft stick um, or a skewer. Um, and then you can print with that too. I've done that a lot. Um, I learned how to do some of these techniques from taking Pauli Pauline Agnew's Draw and Paint What You Love class. Um, also, um, uh, tra any of Tracy Bautista's classes, she um, quite frequently um, tells you to use your own art, make photocopies of your own art, and use that in collage. Um, this goes right along with that. Um, I will try to remember to put links to both of their websites at the end of the video. I hope you have a good time making your um, art prints. I know I'm going to. Um, I have two new jelly, pl prints to, um, jelly plates to play with. Um, thanks to my husband and daughter. They're so great. Um, all right. Have fun. Bye. I just wanted to let you guys know one last note um, when you're printing with newspaper or phone book pages on the jelly plate it does leave some ink from the text behind but baby oil does get it off now you don't have to worry about that with the craft foam obviously but the jelly plate's kind of expensive so you want to make sure you get it all off and after you clean it with your baby wipes if you just take a little bit of baby oil and just go over the top it does get the ink all off. Um, but I kind of went jelly plate crazy. This is my some of my my shelves where I store my paints and color pencils and stencils. I have lots of stencils. Anyway, all these papers that you see. Yeah. And then there's more over here. <laughs>
Yeah, I, I ran out of room to hang stuff. So I had to stop. All right, yeah, I like my jelly plate. I'll still use the craft foam for some things, but I like my jelly plate. All right, see you later.